Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tia and I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural, we're inclusive, so if you have subscribed, please consider doing so and hit the bell so you get the notifications for all my uploads because I upload a lot. If you are subscribed, you're my little doll baby. Hi doll baby, how you? So happy that you are here. So, so happy that you are here. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a wig review. And I am doing Miss Deirdre from Paula Young. So if that is a wig that you've been wanting to know more about, then let's just get to it. I have the Paula Young little colors here. I feel like the color names for Paula Young are really popular, but they don't put the actual names on these cards. So I have color SF10 slash 26 slash number six. This is the Buttered Toast Rooted. And I scooped her up from Polly Young for $53.99. Let me get some dates while I get her cap, her cap construction out. I have Miss Deidre in the average wig cap. And this is her cap construction. She is a full cap wig. And the Versa fibers are their heat friendly fibers. You can see she has a wefted cap and she does have the Velcro adjustables, adjustable straps. She is a stunning, stunning color. You can see her rooting there. Ooh, she's so beautiful. What I'm gonna do is actually just kind of shake her out a minute. She does have bendable ear tabs. She's an average cat, but I, I feel like she's a little bit um, on the bigger side of average. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, the rooting is so beautiful. I don't think that it's going to take much for me to get together, but let me go ahead and get her together and then um, I'll come back and give you a look from the back and my th final thoughts. Okay. Okay. love 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 the color love the style this is definitely going to make it in to my long term collection love all of those things the thing that i'm not and i wouldn't say not loving the thing that i have to do is i needed to train this a i always need to train stuff so it goes away from my face but this wig had the thing that you know some wigs have i mean there's synthetic fibers and everything this had the thing where I felt like all of the, the fibers were going forward, sort of like that, naturally. And I wanted them to go more like back. So I did need to use some of my Tressalore wig spray. You saw this wig wax. And I still feel like I need to do that to get these to lay. They're very soft and I absolutely love them. The fibers, they're gorgeous. The rooting on this, the whole wig is gorgeous. I'm just saying depending on how yours is made, the fibers may want to fall forward a little bit. You may just need to coax them to go where you want. The one thing I liked is that it did allow me, even though it's a full cap wig, to sort of play around with how I laid the part. And I thought that that was really cool and interesting, the way that the fibers are done. You definitely can do that. It loves a round brush, so you could do, you know, very sort of wavy, bouncy type thing. 
um, or you could brush them out so that they're really, really full. Um, so you have that option. I'm doing a video with Beth, Beth's best hair, and we are doing a collab, which will be probably up by the time that you see this video, where I'm going to be styling some Holly Young wigs for wedding. We're both doing it. I'm doing short style. She's doing longer style. So I think this is definitely one that I want to use for that. And I do like that even though this is falling in my face a little bit, I think it would lend well though to use for wedding hair. Let's look at her from the back. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be perfect for wedding hair. Yeah, I really, really like this. It's just one of those wigs that the way that it's designed and the way that it's falling, um, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit. But other than that, I really like it. I love the color, it's soft. Uh, I think the wig cap could go slightly a little bit bigger than average. I am 21 and a half, 21 and a half uh, circumference. And it, it, I did have to tighten it slightly and I do have a wig grip cap on. So there is a little bit of room to play with this particular one. So if you have this wig and you have thoughts, please put them down below. I am actually really happy with this wig and I think it's going to be a great addition to my summer lineup. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.